Hello, this is uh, Dr. Hui Liu from San Jose, California, United States. My email is ibridgepy at gmail.com. iBridgePi is a Python platform to help traders to build automated trading robots to trade with Interactive Brokers, Robinhood, and TD Ameritrade. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain the security underscore info dot CSV because average by using this CSV file. Here's the agenda of this tutorial. First, I'm going to explain why security info dot CSV is needed. Then I will open the this CSV file and explain the uh, the meaning of each columns and explain how to use them. Then I'm going to talk about how to get exchange and primary exchange from an interactive broker's contract search database. When users build, build trading robots, maybe they need to add some securities. Then I will show you how to add new securities into the security info.csv file. At last, I'm going to talk about an uh, average pi function called super symbol. So first, why security info.csv file is needed? Hybrid Pi is designed to work with interactive brokers. And to work with interactive brokers, securities, which is the contract you want to trade, must have exchange information. This exchange is the exchange where actually is the exchange you want to place your order to or you get real-time calls from that exchange. So this is the exchange. Primary exchange is another field of security, actually, and is required when using smart routing. Smart routing is an IB, electronic routing, routing service. Based on the description of IB's official website, Smart routing will look for uh, will look for different exchanges information, considering the best price and automated trading capability, and then IB server will smartly route your order to that exchange. But when you use smart routing, you need to specify the primary exchange to remove the uh, confusion may cost and smart routing only works for equities in, in major US markets for most of equities in US markets in average by security info.csv file works as a database to support a function of symbol symbol function is the average by function to define securities in this symbol, in, in this function, you don't need to put exchange or primary exchange. You just put ticker there. For example, symbol SPY. You don't need to tell what's the exchange, what's the primary exchange. And average pi will use security info.csv file as a database to look for the exchange and the primary exchange. Then then fill in the this security. That's why security info CSV is needed for average pi. Okay, so here I want to explain the columns of security info.csv file. So let's open one. So go to average pi folder, go to average pi folder, and there is file called security underscore info.csv. It's recommended to use Microsoft Excel to open this file because it's easier for you to see the columns and values at the same time. So it's open right now. You can see the first row is the column names. The critical ones are symbol, which is the ticker actually, 
for the securities, you can see the typical ones, for example, the different tickers in different market. And this is the primary exchange. That's a pretty important security type. When, when you see SDK means this is stock, OPT means option, FUT means future, commodity, index, CFD, and others. Currency, this is the base currency of the contract you want to trade. For example, the, there are multiple possibility of base currencies for just simply SPY, so, so that you, can, you need to specify what's the basic base currency for the contract you are trading. Exchange. This is the exchange center you want to place your order to. If it's empty, then average pad will fill in smart. Price incremental. Most of the time you don't need it because the, the typical price incremental is 0 0.01, which means one cents. When I bridge by search securities in security underscore info dot CSV, it uses a combination key, which means it will search security type, symbol, and base currency as a combination key. So, which means you need to provide, for example, uh, let's see, XLB stock. USD, this is the combination. So which means in this CSV file, you can only have one of this combination. For example, XLB stock USD. If you want to add another one, for example, you want to add XLB, if it's future, then it's okay because Line 27 and line 28 has a different value because this is stock, this is future, so that you can have two tickers but different security type, same base currency. That's acceptable. So, average pad will use this database and put in security type, symbol, base currency, and the return value from this database is the exchange. The default value is smart, and the primary exchange. So user, when, they when, when users want to trade some specific contracts, it's highly recommended to visit this website. This is the IB's contract database. Let's go there together to take a look. This is the the source of truth of primary the primary exchange and exchange. You typically you just need to click search. For example, let's put in SPY and see what it has. It has many SPYs included, but the real STY I'm talking about is the SPDR, S Standard and Poor 500 ETF Trust. This is what I'm talking about SPY. So the sticker or symbol is SPY actually, and you can see IB offers different products about SPY. So you can see tickers or symbol are same, but exchanges SPY can be traded as different exchanges using different base currency. So this is the SPY I'm talking about. This one is ticker is SPY, security type is stock. The primary exchange is ERCA, 
base currency is USD dollar. If you click details, you can get more details. Here's description, description name, symbol here, and these are the exchanges. And ARC is the first one, and the letter is in bold, which means this one is the primary exchange. This one is the, the primary exchange you need to put into the security info.csv file. Other than that, it offers other informations. If you want, you can take a look. For example, the regular trading hours, trading hours, price range, and the price incremental. If you can click, go to the more details, go to the website. So we see the SPY. As an example, I would like to search APL. Try APL, what we can have. APL. Oh, no, it should be APPL. Hmm? Nothing. Close it. Try it again. Okay, this time let's put AAPL. Yeah, we have something there. That's typical AAPL, which is the company of Apple. It offers different product about Apple stock. Yeah, it has bond, CFD, Futures, and I don't know what this one is, structured product. But Apple is so popular, that's why there are so many products related to Apple stock. Search stock. The list is so long. Anyway, the primary exchange is right there. Just this one. See there. Yeah, the primary exchange is NASDAQ. The base currency is USD. Yeah, the primary exchange is NASDAQ, and you can treat that as NMS and SE. This is the, the other example. So when you are working on your own project, it's highly recommended to go to this IB contract and the symbol database to verify the primary exchange and exchange. Add contracts to security info.csv. So we found SPY is ERCA. So the best step is the the first step is to go to this website to verify the primary exchange and exchange. For example, SPY is ARCA. If you, if you cannot find something that you trade, you can ask IB representative if you are not sure what's the primary exchange and what are the valid exchanges you can use. So talk to IB representative. They are the best resource to tell you. Then you can add a new rows in security info and make sure the combination key is correct. What I mean by that is if you go there and 
search SPY. Oh, right there. So this is the primary SPY. Primary exchange is ARCA stock USD. For example, let's close this one. Let's switch to SPY. And then let's go to stock. For example, you really want to trade SPY at MEXI. And the base currency is MXN. Then what you can do is add another line there. Still use SPY. And then you put, what's this one? MEXI. MEXI. But it's still stock MX, as I remember. Yeah, MX. Yeah. So in this way, you tell iBridgePad that when you search stock SPY and MXN, MXN, the primary exchange will be MEXI. Very likely you need to copy this one to exchange column because you want to trade at MEXI. Okay, so average by actually provide another function called super symbol. Super symbol is a pr precise way than regular symbol function to define the contract you want to trade. This is the average by documentation super fun super symbol. You can define stock type symbol currency exchange primary exchange expiry strike right when you are working with option and futures multiplier and local symbol when you are using super symbol to de de define a contract is not needed is not required to add a rows add the rows in security info.csv when using super symbol this is a new feature from version 8.18 or 8.1.1 Thank you very much. For any questions, please send an email to ibridgepi at gmail.com. If you need any help on coding, please check out our well-known render coder service. More tutorials are coming. Please don't forget to subscribe. iBridgePi is an easy-to-use Python platform to backtest and live trading. Thank you very much.